Today I am going to uh, teach you how to uh, add the sound on the UI button click. So you will, uh, you won't need to uh, add the function to every button when you need to add sound on the button click. So it is very easy method. So I am going to create a new project button click sound tutorial. Okay and. It doesn't matter whether it is studio or 3D, it will work for both the type of uh, uh, projects. So, first of all, you need to download the button tab sound from the, this site, JavaScript. Okay, so it is the name of the site and you should log in. Uh, you will have to log in actually and just uh, search for uh, uh, search for finger tap. So, this type of sound you will get. Uh, okay, and you can use uh, any other sound if you have or okay so uh, just wait for uh, project to be open and uh, i think uh, the method which uh, i'm going to uh, uh, going to use here so it will be uh, easiest method to be uh, used in uh, ever so uh, i think this method is very useful for uh, a other functionality too means if you want to get any button name or uh, any button component or any other thing which is already added to the button so you will use this function uh, and uh, and every time you create a new button you you will not need to add the function for the sound uh, separately okay so the project is open and i have already downloaded the uh, mp3 file for button tab so just drag and drop and leave it here okay so now uh, i'm going to create a tab to 2d create a canvas uh, here okay and uh, just a uh, camera and uh, set to scale with the screen size so that it will work on multiple type of screen and just drag and drop camera here okay so here is our canvas you can also set the size according to your suggestion i'm going to set the default size for this and uh, okay now i'm going to add a banner okay then i'm going to add a button Okay, so here is our button. I okay, you just name it. Setting. It is for demonstration. I'm not going to create any other menu for setting or uh, settings. Okay. Okay. So uh, first of all, create a new MPT object and sound manager okay add an audio source here audio source audio source okay and one more thing we need to add a script to audio manager uh, okay so i have created a new script named sound manager and uh, an audio source for playing the sound Okay, so just wait for opening the script. Okay, so uh, the script is added. Now I'm going to open it on Visual Studio. Okay, so Visual Studio is opened, and uh, now first of all, we need to create a public audio clip. Okay. Yeah, so um, click you you can uh, you can name it any other uh, reasonable name or relevant name which you want. It's a uh, legal matter. Okay. So and uh, one more thing. 
we are going to take reference for our audio source audio source A audio source okay uh, so just in a start audio source is equal to get component audio source okay so we have uh, taken the reference for the audio source okay so now we need to create another function it's, it will be public void delay click song okay and uh, so just leave it to click song only and just pass here an audio clip audio clip name a clip okay and then here a source dot play one sort then uh, in this function we should pass a clip okay so we have uh, created the function now we should have to detect if the um, button is clicked or not so first of all um, if input dot get box button down zero okay and it will detect whether the clicked object has button component or not so uh, so just use the event system okay so we need a dependency unity event systems okay so now event system dot current dot current selected game object dot get component button oh button button is not here because uh, we should use using new union dot ui now we can use the ui uh, objects for so, uh, button okay so we need to check it so just use if not equal to null so just uh, run this function and pass the click sound here okay so uh, i think we have completed this okay so just we should assign the sound clip here so just drag and drop here and uh, okay play i don't think there is uh, any other thing to just okay and our thing is working so uh, if if you create any other means uh, if you are generating uh, buttons in runtime, time so you can use the thing to add so when i copy this button and move it to down in runtime, so and click it is working and uh, we just duplicate it and create it here and create another canvas so there's no need to add uh, uh, Okay, it is screen only and uh, scale with screen size and uh, I'm going to add a button here and I click on play button so whatever function is working so you want me to you you want me to okay here is a new pointer so this turns on object sound here okay so uh, 
एड वन मोर कंडीशन Okay, so now there is no null pointer when we are not clicking on the button. This null pointer was because uh, our event system dot current dot uh, current selected object was uh, null, and we are uh, still checking the button component on that uh, object. So there is uh, there was no object, and we are still trying to check the button component. That was the uh, uh, unity hit the null pointer on the on that position on that point. Okay, so. Uh, now you can take advantage of this uh, function or you can use any any other uh, things like get component uh, or find any script or any other component or any other child object parent object whatever you want okay so uh, please comment on this video how how you like this video or what you want more on this video or what you need to know about this video anything you can comment don't be hesitate or you can you can ask me to create a, a, a tutorial or any other topic if you want okay so thank you for watching my tutorial thank you so much thank you guys and please don't forget to subscribe my channel for newly created and very useful tutorial thank you